Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today is day 14 of our love yoga journey. Today's theme is going to be dissension. A perfect example of the hero's journey into the dark Dissension is Dante's Divine Comedy where the hero has to first go through the valley in order to come up to the mountain. There is a mountain in front of us but we have to descend first in order to ascend. And that is a metaphor for life. Sometimes we have to go through hell to go to heaven and sometimes we have to go deep within, illuminate the darker parts of our soul in order to ascend, come out, glorious, illuminated. And usually in the hero's journey, when we descend, this is also a metaphor for it's always darkest before um, dawn. So there is this darkest hour of the night where we're very introverted. We go in, we look within, we source from within because the external is really dark and all we have now is what we truly are within we have to source from there reach deep reach to the divine and source from there and once we get illuminated from that meditative state because we don't truly have dark and light parts of our soul those are just words that sometimes are given too much of a meaning. There is no negative or positive about it. They're all parts of who we are. Once we expose the deeper hidden parts of our soul, then we become illuminated and the whole point of becoming growing, becoming illuminated, learning is to take that and spread it, bring it into the community, bring it into the world illuminate the world with what you have within. Are you ready to flow with strength and ease? And we'll begin seated on the floor. You can groove here side to side, close the eyes. Great, let's roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen through the crown of the head. Sit it in an upright position, paying attention to your posture and beginning to deepen the breath. The breath is what brings us into this existence, into the light. So paying attention to the breath as our guiding force is the focus of this class. Really breathe and really tune in, become friends with your breath. Great, we're going to walk the hands in front of us, come onto the knees and keep your knees wide, sit back in child's pose and just breathe, observe the breath, close the eyes. Let's walk the hands ahead of us. You can look at your hands, walk them to the right. Keep your hips down where they were and lower down here to the right, feeling the sides of the body here. Back to center, opposite side.
back to center and let's tuck the toes under and take downward facing dog observing the breath lifting the tailbone high Inhale the left leg up, step the left foot between the hands, drop the back heel down, bend the left knee and come up, warrior one. Straightening the lead knee, here you can step onto the left leg and take the right leg a little further back, bend bending the left knee and taking warrior two now the hips are opening to the side and we're just exploring the pose feeling the stretch the strength great let's straighten the knee hinging at the hips you're going to shift the hips way back and your hands are going to reach away from the hips so feel how the obliques the sides of the body are really really lengthening and you're reaching away 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 from the hips once you have reached as far as you can go with the right rib cage opening and lifting then you're going to lower the left hand onto the left shin bone for some of you that might be above the knee for some of you it may be a little lower on the shin bone it doesn't matter this again it is not it doesn't matter how far in the final pose we are but it does matter that we come back to the mat daily and that we listen to the body and we challenge it and we honor it. So it does matter that we do things with integrity, poses with integrity. Listen, tune in, lengthen here, tuck the tailbone under and see how that allows you to lengthen even more. great let's bring the right hand onto the hip pull the belly in and come up and now we're going to pivot on the heels change sides take warrior one first hips facing towards the back straighten the leg step onto the right foot and take that back foot further back so that you can take a little wider stance here and take warrior two on the right side feel the warrior feel the legs working the shoulders relaxing straighten the lead knee here and we're going to we're going to press the hips back and reach away from the hips tuck the tailbone under the legs are strong the feet are hugging the floor hugging the mat and lower down here and lengthen lengthening both sides of the torso you can reach ahead of you and coming up now we're going to bring the feet parallel to each other hands on the hips pull the belly in and lower down forward bend Breathe and just follow your 
breath, paying attention to the breath, anchoring yourself into the present moment through the breath, slowing down. Let's walk the hands to the front and bring the knees down on the floor. Sit back in child's pose. coming up and we're going to sit down onto the booty pull the belly in and slowly lower down onto your back and going to plow which is a very introverted pose we're coming onto we're folding in so it is an optional pose if your neck is bothering you then you can just bring the knees into each other, right hand onto the belly, left hand onto the heart and sit here, lay here. Or the second stage is you could go into half plow, lifting the booty of the floor, hands supporting the hips and just staying here, even crossing the legs or letting them drop. Or the next stage is Lifting, 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 shimmy the shoulders and lower the legs down. You can shimmy the shoulders more and either support the back here or you can clasp the hands on the floor. Softening the throat as you breathe. Let's bring the hands onto the hips and come up either in half shoulder stand or full shoulder stand, lifting the legs up. Great, lower down and slowly with the support of your hands, you can come out of this. Once your tailbone is on the floor, you can bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a big hug and rock side to side. Slowing down, the night is usually slowing down type of time. Going in, just pausing so that we can listen to the breath. We can even bring the attention to the third eye and look in, shift the gaze inward. Now we're gonna go into happy baby. So see if you can grab the outer edges of the feet. If not, you can grab your ankles and hold here. And you can again rock side to side, massaging the back, taking it easy.
beautiful from here we're going to bring the right knee on top of the left and flexing the feet other grab your calves shin bones and calves flexing the feet and bringing the legs in towards you so that is going to open the hips if you can reach and grab your feet then do that otherwise hold on to your shin bones and keep your feet flexing so that we're protecting protecting the knees and breathe soften in here you should feel this in your hips soften the hips letting go Letting go through the breath. In order to understand ourselves better, we need to know the unexposed parts of ourselves. Even in astrology, that's represented by the hidden parts of the self in the houses in astrology where the planets are not exposed so those are not visible in the visible field planets but it is things that are within us that are in the night time time of the soul in the before dawn part of our existence and it's fully a part of who we are it's part of our makeup and learning to know the shadow Learning to know us during the dissension is essential to knowing who we truly are. So slowing down, breathing, shifting the gaze inward, softening the breath, opposite side flex the feet see if you can grab them otherwise hold the shin bones keep the feet flexing Softening the jaw, softening the lips, from here we're going to bring the ankle, left ankle above the right knee bring the left hand between the legs and behind the right knee and bring the right hand behind the right knee too keep flexing the left foot and let's bring that right knee a little closer which will bring the ankle in a little closer you can push with your left elbow so that the thigh the leg the knee presses away from you without forcing just deepening the pose and you can hold here it's another hip opener and you can even straighten now the right leg and lower it down towards you let's open the arms out to the sides and bend the right knee bring the foot down on the ground and drop that left foot down on the floor walk away from your legs over to the left and keep pressing the left knee away from you you feel a really deep stretch here through the hips exhaling following the breath the best way to learn about ourselves is to deepen the breath and slow down get into a meditative state as often as we can daily maybe
Great. Inhale, coming out of this. Let's go over to the opposite side. Flex the right foot, press the knee away from you. Pull the left knee towards you and elbow, right elbow to the right thigh, opening the thigh away from you. Exhaling through the hip, feeling the hip releasing the tension as we soften the mind, as we relax. And the way to relax the mind is to soften the breath, to relax the breath. And then the body will follow. And let's straighten the leg, that's optional. You can stay in the previous pose or you can straighten it if it feels beneficial to you. And great, you can open the arms drop the left foot on the floor and keep pressing that right knee away from you flex the foot so that your knee is protected and drop drop your legs to to the left look over to the right and press the knee again away from you so that you feel that deep stretch here in the hip IT bent maybe exhale softly slowly coming out of this you should feel the stretch let's bring the soles of the feet together see if you can grab your feet if you can just drop the feet on the floor but if you can grab them then just bring your feet in knees away from you letting go of the legs and you can bring your hands behind the knees and give it a few rocks up until you come up to sit it you can extend your legs in front of you removing the flesh from the sitting bones straight back and lower down keep you can keep your knees bent here slightly or a little more Lowering down. Mm -hmm. 
and let's open the legs out walk your hands in front of you flex your feet one more time and hold here The only reason we try to learn in life is so that we can awaken but also spread, illuminate the wor world around us, bring this into the community. So we're learning so that we can share. It is not just personal growth, but it is benefiting our community. So when we learn more about ourselves, when we go in, we come out richer and we can share more. Slowly coming up, you can sit in a comfortable seated position. You can bring your hands over the heart, palms of the hands facing the heart. Hands are not touching each other and we're not touching the skin. Just feel the energy in the hands here. Smile and trust, believe in yourself that you are always in a position of sharing. No matter what your challenges are, you're always able to give, to share, to better someone else's life to better the collective, the community, humanity. So feel the expansiveness of your heart, the generosity, the love that you have in your heart and feel how much you can generate externally now. You can bring it out of you into the world. You can radiate love energy, love. Great, let's bring the palms of the hands together. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today for this gentle class, gentle stretching class routine. Let me know how this class worked for you and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow with another class. Thank you again. Namaste. Remember to flow with strength and ease.